Hey, this is Mark coming to you from Baker's Green Acres. Uh, I, I didn't get a video out last night. I was just too busy. I just couldn't do it. Um, but today's Friday, and uh, I'm in the middle of chores right now, and it's just something I think is very important that I have to put out there. Um, we had several people email us personally yesterday and convey the uh, conversations that they had with uh, the people at the governor's office and a lot of them uh, the governor's office is just running people around that's a lot of it so they'll tell you to go to you got to call the dnr dnr will tell you you got to call the attorney general's office and and so on don't let that discourage you you still have to um keep up the uh keep up the pressure on the governor's office this is definitely his baby now it's definitely his baby all right let's make sure that we all understand that this is uh this is laying right at his feet, and we need to make sure that that's that they know that that that's how we feel about this. Certainly, is how I feel about it. the attorney general's office right now. We know that they're just going to do what they're told to do, and and that's it. That's that's their thing. They're taking the uh, um, the I'm just doing my job approach, and I'm I'm here to tell you that didn't work at the Nuremberg trials, so it's it shouldn't work here either. Um, okay. Here's what was said yesterday, and I think this is very important. Um, a, a person that we've gotten to know through this made several phone calls to the governor's office, finally wound up talking to Ed Golder. Ed Golder. He's the spinmeister from the DNR. He's a newsman put on just to deal with this problem. Ed is going to tell you what the DNR wants you to know. That's it. He's not going to give you truth. That's not his job. That's not his job. He's the public information officer, all right? Now, this is what he said. And, Ed, you tipped your hand, bro. You tipped your hand, and it's too bad that you did this. But um, he said, when asked how they are going to determine what pig is uh, a hybrid of a, uh, a Russian boar, he said that they are coming out with genetic tags. Okay, he said it. All right, now, I'm not going to go any further other than to ask you, who does the genetic engineering? Who does that? All right, now, you're telling me that the state of Michigan is going to come up with some genetic tags to identify which pigs could become feral and which pigs probably won't become feral. Is that what they're doing? Or are they going to say that if you have a pig that does not have this genetic tag, then your pig is feral? I think it is the latter. And what they are going to do is, they're, they're, in that case, they will have a test. And it will be a blood test. They can draw blood from your animal and see if it's got that genetic tagging. So we thought all along that we knew who was behind this. Uh, we have the amicus brief that names the ag leaders of Michigan as being very concerned about this and wanting the invasive species order to stand. So they're the ones that are pressuring the Governor Snyder, all right? And Governor Snyder is telling Keith Cray what to do. Okay, so we have a clear link to the people that do genetic tagging, all right? Let's find out who they are. I think we all know who they are, and we know who ALM is beholding to. But here's the thing, state of Michigan and America, you don't have to put up with this crap. If all of us wag our heads at the same time, it'll create a tornado. We just gotta say no, but it has to be all of us that say no. There's parts of the country right now that are saying no to genetically modified stuff, and they're gonna put these people right out of business, and that's really what needs to happen. We have all these people in the state of Michigan with nothing to do, no jobs. Why aren't they on farms working? Why aren't they? Why aren't we getting the subsidies from the federal government that the, the mega farms are getting to produce poisonous food. Why is that? Okay, well, we can change this. This is doable because uh, I, I feel as though at some point the governor is going to uh, concede to political pressure and say, oh, yeah, I'm all for family farms. Because right now, you can look him dead in the eye at some of his little sp speeches that he gives and say, why are you trying to destroy family farms? Why is that, Governor Snyder? And I think people need to do that. And I think that needs to be a question that is put to his staff 
starting today, today's Friday, you can still get a few more phone calls in today. Say, why are you trying to ruin family farms? Is that your platform that you're running on for the re-election? Destroying family farms. Let me tell you something, folks. Family farms employ people. They employ families plus people from the community. I have several people that work for me here. We used to have more before this thing started up. When I'm making profits, I spread them to my employees, right? Industrial ag doesn't really work that way. They want everybody to be kind of, you know, um, driving a huge tractor and using the advantage of chemical fertilizers and things like that. So they have very few people working, and then they employ a lot of people that are not exactly U.S. citizens, right? And that's wrong. That's wrong. I don't care how you feel about that. The money needs to stay in our community, not going south of the border. I hate to bring that into this, but that's just reality, and everybody knows it, so we might as well say it. All right, I'm going to cut it off there, but I thought I should bring that to your attention. Please keep up the good fight. It is working. The pressure on his office is immense, and it works. And let me tell you, there's a tidbit came in yesterday that I think will be huge. Um, somebody has gotten to a very uh, prestigious law firm and told the story of what the state of Michigan has done to this little farm right here. And that prestigious uh, legal firm has taken interest in it. And I will brief you on that as soon as I as soon as I know more about it. But it looks very good. All right, Mark Baker's Green Acres. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend. Signing off.